you know, one of the things that's fun about literature is that there are often techniques used to, to create gaps in the narrative that are planned so that the reader can fill in those details themselves. Now, you and I have seen novels that were 5,000 pages, and those don't have very many gaps in the narrative, do they? And sometimes I've seen things that were written where there are gaps in the narrative that are not logical, so we have a logical gap. But sometimes literature is written artistically and creatively with an economy of words that allows the reader to fill in the narrative, to fill in the motif of the story and use their own imagination. And such is the story that we're going to study today and we're going to format this and play around with the look and the punctuation of this particular story. This story is uh, entitled The Weight, W-E-I-G-H-T. And it's a story in first person of a young man who's, who comes into a town and he begins saying yes to everyone so that he can fit in and so that he can belong and be accepted by the community. He learns of a woman named Miss Fanny and Miss Fanny has a lot of stress placed upon her and so requests are made uh, to help take the stress off of Miss Fanny. And so he begins saying yes to all of the requests. Characters come in and ask him to do things and at some point he wonders what in the world has happened. How did he get to be here? All he wanted to do was just fit in. So let's take a look at this together and let's play around with it. Okay, and here we have the story of the weight, and as always, I've jumbled everything up. So let's read it together. We're gonna take a couple of minutes to fix this and format it. I pulled into Nazareth, was feeling about half past dead. I just need some place where I could lay my head. Hey, mister, can you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand. No, was all he said. Take a load off Fanny, take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny, and you put the, the load right on me. I picked up my bags and went looking for a place to hide. When I saw old Carmen and the devil walking side by side, I said, hey Carmen, come on, let's go downtown. She said, I gotta go, but my friend can stick around. Take a load off Fanny, take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny, and you put the load right on me. I go down to Miss Moses, ain't nothing you can say. It's just like, it's just old Luke and Luke's waiting for the judgment day. Well, Luke, my friend, what about young Anna Lee? He said, well, do me a favor, son. Won't you stay and keep Anna Lee company? Take a load off Fanny, take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny and you put the load right on me. Crazy Chester followed me and he caught me in the fog. Said, I will fix your rag if you'll take Jack my dog. I said, wait a minute, Chester, you know I'm a peaceful man. He said, that's okay, boy. Won't you feed him when you can? Take a load off Fanny, take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny and you put the load right on me. Catch the cannonball, now to take me down the line. My bag is sinking low, and I do believe it's time to get back to Miss Fanny. You know she's the only one who sent me her here with her regards for everyone. Take a load off Fanny, take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny, and you put the load right on me. Okay, so do you see what I mean by there's, there's a lot of gaps, some characters coming in, some, we see the common theme of him saying yes to everyone, and we see intimations of what's going on. So let's play with how we place this on the page. I'm going to do it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how I played around with the formatting. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It just needs to make some kind of sense. And because the story is sort of like Swiss cheese, 
there's some holes in the stories, there's some places to hide, there's some open spaces, there's some doorways, that kind of thing that can be implied. That's why I formatted it on the page the way that I did. I added some gaps where I think action might take place and and I moved this take a load off Fanny as he's going through his journey how he's feeling about the decisions that he continues to make where he says yes to everyone trying to fit in and then at the end I put it right in the middle that take a load off Fanny take the load for free and you put the load right on me and then I have the dialogue in different places, depending on the characters that are talking. And I just think that that's sort of a mapping of this character's journey. Okay, so real quick, let's look at it as if it were formatted like a poem. Let's take a look at that together. So I'm going to slowly scroll through here. And of course, you can always open this up as a PDF and look at, look at it more in depth later if you want to. But you can see this is what it would look like if it was written poetically. That's kind of interesting. Okay, now I want to pose a couple questions to you as you look at this, at this tale. And I want to ask you a couple of questions about the theme. I'll be right back. So in this little bit of a story, my question to you is, what is the theme? You can't be wrong. You could find a thematic statement for this and build a case around it. We have characters, we have a situation, we have a protagonist. And so you could build a case around anything. But I'm just tossing out a few ideas. Every good boy deserves favor. When opportunity knocks, open the door. The impossibility of sainthood. Can you think of something else that is a statement? What this character learns? Well, the writer of this story, Robbie Robertson, in his own words, said that it was the story of the impossibility of sainthood. Now what I want to do is take a minute and listen to how this particular story might sound. So click on this link and let's have a look at how this story might sound. And then when you come back here, this is an excellent article that analyzes uh, this piece of fiction and I think you will enjoy reading this. It's not a very long article, but I think it's very well written and I think it's worth a read. So as you study this fun with formatting, let's end this up by having you listen to the performance of The Weight. Click this little link if for any reason the link doesn't work, simply copy and paste that into your browser. Alright, that concludes this tutorial on Fun with Formatting.